that the purpose of government is to attend to the interest and well-being of all citizens by providing essential services and cultivating an environment that fosters economic transformation and inclusive growth. At the same time, we must always remember that economic governance and management are underpinned, unnecessitated by the inescapable condition that resources are always limited. Our development needs many, and our strategies robust and ambitious. Our commitments will always be defined by the direction of our resource expenditures. And the question always is, are we throwing public resources into a bottomless pit, or are we making sound investments that will anchor growth and create opportunities for many, if not all. This reality is the fundamental question which follows us whenever we concern ourselves with any aspects of public finance management and which is always answered one way or another by our budgets, whether it is at the national or at the county level. The second reason why this event is important is that the bottom-up economic transformation agenda has invited Kenyans to bravely confront difficult questions, make hard and often painful decisions, and evaluate whether we are serious about rapid growth and inclusive prosperity. The bottom-up economic transformation agenda examined the levels of poverty in our country, the number of people without employment, persistent food and nutrition insecurity, as well as severe vulnerability to climate shifts. The agenda has also prescribed a radical program of ambitious investment in programs and projects with potential to rapidly and sustainably turn the situation around. These investments in the strategic sectors of agro-industrial growth and food security, the micro, small, and medium enterprise, universal health care, affordable housing, and the digital and creative economy require development financing to be available consistently and over a long period. In turn, this imperative has brought home the implications of a national fiscal culture where recurrent expenditure has grown excessively devouring development expenditure and depriving the country of opportunities to achieve real growth. In fact, this culture reached the point of borrowing expensive debt to finance recurrent expenditure and consumption subsidies. The cost of this trend is very high debt with increasingly risk of distress, low development, unsustainable recurrent budgets, runaway unemployment, poverty, and of course, inequality. 